What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to use Save As dialog to allow a user to save a file in a location that they choose. So let's get into it. Alright, so I've got three windows open here. On the upper left I got the VBA editor. On the right I have a file with three tabs, each with data pertaining to a particular region. And then on the bottom left I've got folders for those regions inside of a test folder. And what I'm going to do is allow the user to select which folder they're going to save a copy of each one of these tabs in as their own workbook. So for this sub, we'll call it allow user to select save location. It's kind of long, but whatever. Let's uh, declare our variables. Region is going to be a string and selection was going to be a variant so I will set my region equal to the active sheet and what I'm going to want to do is use B2 as my reference point because on each one of these sheets B2 gives me the region name so I'll just do active sheet and I'll do cells 2 2 See that one two one two, and I want the text in those cells, and then I'll do active sheet copy to create another workbook from that sheet. So if I go ahead and test that now, I can run it, and I'm now I've got a copy of the Latin America and Caribbean sheet, and then I can do whatever I want with it at that point. So I'll keep going on with our code. And we'll set selection equal to application get save as file name and then open open parentheses underscore and then we'll go into the next line and we'll use a file filter and we'll choose Excel workbook and then we're going to want to do XL SX XL SX and then we'll do a comma underscore next line so then the title that's going to be equal to let's set that to please select location to save file let's go to the next line and then our initial our initial file name is going to be equal to let's call it region report and then we'll use the name of whatever region we choose so ampersand region just referencing this here, the variable here. And we'll add a space after region. So here's a space before the region name, a space after the region name. Do another ampersand underscore. And then we'll just throw the date in there. So we'll do format date. And let's do month, month, day, day year year and that'll be it so we'll get the the user will have the prompt and it'll let them save an Excel workbook and the prompt will have the title please select location to save file and the initial name which they can change is going to be region report with whatever region name one of these three regions and the uh, today's date so we also have to make sure that we save if the user selects to if the user decides to save the file make sure they save it but if the user decides not to save the file we need to just close the, the temporary file that gets created so we'll do if selection is not equal to false so that means if they choose to save the file then that's what we're going to do so active workbook save as 
and then we'll just do the file name will just be um, the selection they make and then we can end our if there and at this point if they don't decide to save the file the file will just be sitting there so let's go ahead and test it out so I'll click on the Asia tab hit run so we have this Asia workbook that gets created and now I by default I have region report Asia with today's date and I can save it in whichever folder I want I'll go ahead and save it in the Asia folder and we're good to go it's still here though it's still sitting here I can close it but let's say let's try sub-saharan Africa now I'll run it got my sub-saharan Africa file with the name here and I can I'll save it in the Africa folder but I'll hit cancel so I hit cancel this this still sits here so and it's called book 24 if you see that at the top so what we'll, just, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and add this on the bottom active workbook close so regardless after we make it past the step whether or not they decide to save we'll close the workbook the active workbook which is the new workbook that we created and we won't save any changes that are made so that way if they decide they don't want to save the file it'll just go away without being saved and if they do save the file because nothing happens between the time they save the file and when the file gets closed without any, any changes to the save it won't make a difference so let's try this again I'll run it hit cancel that file gets closed up it's gone now so now I can go ahead and run it choose my file location I'll save it here I'll go to this tab run it save it here I could run it again, save it somewhere else. And you see if I go into each one of these folders, they'll be there. Just chilling. And yeah, I mean that's you know a basic example. Um in later videos we'll go ahead and do more advanced examples of using a uh, user selective safe. But uh yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.